there is um, a, a wake up happening. There's no question about it. I mean, 21 years ago, when when I went into a psychic um, to see if she would pick up this presence I was feeling around me for a year before. Um, Right from the start, when this psychic starts coming out with the stuff, and I'm a television presenter at the time, um, I'm going to go out on a world stage and reveal great secrets and, and write books and do all this stuff. And, you know, I'm thinking, whoa, what's, that, what's all this about? But uh, something inside me said, go with it. This is right. Go with it. But right at the start, it was the theme of uh, what I called my first book, actually, when I, which I wrote in trying to work out what the heck was happening to my life back in 1990 called Truth Vibrations. And Mm -hmm. I called it that because um, what I was told right at the start was that there was a vibrational change coming that was going to um, act like a, like basically an alarm clock to a comatose uh, sleeping humanity. Um, And I was going to see a tremendous shift in, in awareness in, in my lifetime. And the other thing that uh, I was told it was going to do was bring to the surface all that had been hidden from us. And, of course, 21 years ago, there's absolutely no evidence of that at all. But look, look, look now. I mean, <laughs> what, don't we, what, do, what do we do we know that we didn't know 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years bit. ago, even a year ago? Right. You know, it, 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 this, this is breaking. And um, where I'm going with this in terms of uh, current events is in, in many, many areas, in, in, in wars, in uh, economic collapse, in, in um, manufactured uh, geological events, not that necessarily all are, but some definitely are. Hmm. And um, they are throwing everything they can at us with more to come to – Try to get us into a state of constant anxiety, constant fear, constantly worried about what's going to happen next. And what that does, it pulls you into a density. It pulls you into a more uh, dense vibrational energetic state, consciousness state, and thus um, makes it more difficult to uh, tune in, to sync with these what I call truth vibrations, which is – basically um, another information construct that's coming in to replace the old one. We're at the cusp of it. And uh, some people are still tuning into the old uh, information construct on which the whole control system is based and all the enslavement of humanity is based. Uh, But others uh, are opening their minds. It's literally that, opening your mind to a greater vibrational uh, state Hmm. uh, or reality and then they are starting to tune in to this incoming um, information construct that's coming in to replace the old one and uh, therefore we are seeing this quite demonstrable uh, fork in the road in terms of human perception where you've got more people are awakening and seeing what they couldn't see before and saying why couldn't I see it? It's so obvious. Mm. Well, because you, you weren't in that state of consciousness before. And then you've got uh, the, the, still the mass of humanity at the moment that is, is still locked into this, uh, you know, the, the construct, the information construct that, that we've been dealing with um, through this last period. And, of course, they therefore are caught in – basically five sense reality overwhelmingly and therefore are open much more to the manipulation of that reality because they're in this world and of it when they're uh, in the, in that mental emotional state right. whereas when you when you start to awaken you 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 your point of observation starts to move uh, and you, you you're looking uh, literally from the top of the hill if you like or symbolically from the top of the hill instead of actually being in amongst it and that being the only information that you are receiving to try to get a fix on who you are, where you are, and what's going on in the world, which is why when people do open their minds and, 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 and uh, flow with this, they say, why couldn't I see it before? It was so obvious. So you know, the Chinese say, may you live in interesting times. Well, they don't have to wish us that because <laughs> we do. And you know, the, the next few years are going to be extremely challenging and – uh, wonderful in so many ways, as mm. as these these different realities uh, kind of um, affect people in different ways. But uh, it's not a time for the faint-hearted, mate. That's for sure. That is for sure. And and if you're if you're a newcomer into you know many of the topics that that you've been talking about throughout the years, David, and that we bring up in the program, then it's 
it's quite a lot to process. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it must be quite of a ride, and, and and there's certainly more information now than it was, you know, in the early days of of, of the internet or even five years ago. In that sense, there's Absolutely. so many websites, so much information out there, uh, and and I mean. Do you think there is a good way of, of coping with this then? Because, as you said, David, a lot is being thrown at us, and, and this is considered in many regards to be an information war as, as well, a, a war of cons, you know uh, of how we perceive the world pretty much as well. Uh, so there's a lot of you know mud thrown around, a lot of crap thrown around in within this you know field as well, and the alternative and, and things that are out there on the web and fake news stories and everything else. So should we be dragged along too much into it, or do you feel that the the vibrational changes that you mentioned earlier, those are the, at the end of the day, kind of the key to align yourself according to. Well, they, they are the key because they're changing the information construct, therefore changing the reality. But you still got to tune into them uh, because there are alternative realities uh, there still in this cusp, this this point of transformation. You know, it's, it's, it's not something that's going to happen on one day in one uh, month in 2012. This right. is a process where this, this uh, new information uh, energetic construct is coming in. Uh, but it, it, if it came in in one fell swoop at the level that it would eventually be, then people would basically get fried, uh, go crazy. Yeah. Um, and, and so, um, I mean, you know, Back in 1990 uh, or 91, it was when I had my uh, experience in um, the Stone Circle in Peru when I was hit by an energy for about uh, what an hour or more. Hmm. I mean, for three months after that, it's very famous in this country. Um, I, if you'd asked me my name, I wouldn't have been able to tell you without checking. You know, hmm. uh, it it was so powerful that. It was. It was almost. Uh, you're on the almost on the point of going, uh, you know, beyond sane, if you like, because right. it was like um, so many uh, keys on the computer symbolically were being tapped. So much uh, was being downloaded that you know the the physical forms still still got to cope with that. And so this is a process where it's getting more and more powerful, therefore affecting more and more people, because the more powerful it gets the more it's going to eat away at the density, what I call the bubbles that so many people live in, um, where, where they're, they're, they're operating on such a, a small area of their uh, multi-level infinite awareness that you know, basically, as I said earlier, the five senses is, is, is their foundation for how they uh, see everything. And, of course, once you, you're in that state, then where do the five senses look for um, information to get a fix on who they are, where they are, and where, what's going on in the world. They, they look um, out into the media, out yeah. into the education system, out into mainstream um, science and all that stuff. So once they're in that bubble state and not in a, a conscious connection um, or even an intuitive connection to higher levels of themselves, well, then they become easily uh, programmable. And this is why the control system, Henrik, is now – seeking to throw everything because uh, it knows it's got a job on now because people are waking up in more and more numbers and seeing it. And you're right, you know, there is so much disinformation being um, thrown around uh, to, to try to uh, create diversions and cul-de-sacs for people, even within this whole area of researching the conspiracy and all the rest of it. Sure. And it's like someone said once, um, they stood in the library at Oxford University, which has kind of unbelievable number of books. And he, he said, um, no one could read more than a fraction of these books in a lifetime. The trick is reading the right ones. That's right. Yep. And, and in terms of this information we're talking about, it's, it's, it's easy um, to manipulate for many people the, uh, the, the intellect, if you like. Um, it can give you names, dates, places, and sound credible, but it can be total disinformation. In fact, as you, as you well know, the best disinformation is not 100% um, untruth because that's much more easy to see through. It's like 70%, 80% true, and then the spin of the 20%, that's which right. takes you off the off the trail. Mm. Um, and And so it's the intuition, I would say, that we need to be pulling in that that level of us that's connected to that symbolic part of us on top of the hill looking down um the intuition where where you 
I know it sounds right, but does it feel right? What do you mm. feel about this? How, 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 you know, what does your heart say? And uh, I've gone through the last 21 years filtering information like that. You know, so one guy said to me once, um, uh, he said, you've quoted a disinformer in your book, but you've only quoted the bit that's true. How do you do that? <laughs> I said, well, I don't know. I just, that felt right. What The other bit didn't feel right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and and this is we, this is the, the 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 great lost genius of humanity that's been uh, closed down because we have been manipulated into the intellect, the left side of the brain overwhelmingly, which sees everything as apart from everything else. It wants structure. It's about language, and, and it's ludicrous often version of logic. Whereas uh, when you're in that state. You're you're easily manipulatable by by information given you through the media and, and and repeated by your peers and all the people around you. So you accept a version of reality that's not the right one, but it's it's one that's you've accepted um, because it sounds right. Well, they wouldn't do that. Well, no, it must be like that. The scientists say so and all that hmm. stuff. Whereas yeah. when you go with your intuition, you're not bothered. How many letters some guy's got after his name in some university or some science buddy uh, institution? If it don't feel right to you, you ain't going to accept it. Yeah. And uh, this is this isn't the thing. I think we've really got to start um, honing and and um, and and making more and more sensitive our ability to feel when something feels good, uh, and therefore, yeah, this this feels right to me. And when it says, "Ooh, no, it might sound right." All the I's might be dotted, the T's crossed, and he might be beautifully set out, and he might seem to see what he's talking about, but it don't feel right to me. And this is the the, the, the way we can get through this uh, disinformation and these diversions that, that are put before us. Absolutely, and it's um, information, can, it can be a high as well. It can be kind of a buzz for people, something to occupy, almost a form of entertainment uh, as well. And, and beyond that, of course, we have... Uh, all truths are not going to be documented and vice versa. Just because something is documented doesn't mean it's the, the, the truth there either. Things can be forged and, and, and faked and what have you. So I think you're right, David. Uh, you have to walk your own path, follow your own heart, and, and at the end of the day, no one else can tell you what that true path is. You know, It has to be up to you and it has to be up to, to everybody out there. And, and, and just as long as people do that, I, I don't see any, any problems with that or, or reason to complain even on anybody else. They're free to choose as they, as they go about their lives, David. Yeah, well, there's a couple of things about that, Henrik. Um, first of all, um, you're, you're you're right in 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 this sense about the way people are treating some of this information, and or many people are treating some of this information, and that is, it's like it's like a hobby, in in, in a sense, it's an add-on to your life. And you go onto forums, and 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 um, I'm not saying having a go at forums. There's a lot of good information that's uh, uh, exchanged. But you go onto forums, and you can you can say this and say that. Oh no, I think this. Oh no, you're an idiot. I know more than you, and all this stuff. And and you can read the information. And if that's as far as it goes, then all we are doing is instead of having the prison built around us without us seeing it. Now we're seeing it, and it, in, instead of uh, just ignoring it because uh, it, it couldn't be happening, now we're saying, "Oh, look, see what they're doing now. I bet they do this next, and I, uh, all this stuff." But that's just fine. It's a step forward. We've mm. seen it. Mm. The question is then, what do we do about it? You know, it, 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 it just sitting sitting on 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 a forum exchanging views on a on a thing every day is, is that as much as we're going to do, or mm. are we going to get involved? Has it stopped going to be a, a hobby? And start to be the focus of our um, lives because we're we're at a point now where this uh, control system has moved on to the point where it is really impacting on the most basic human freedoms, and it's on the cusp in many areas, not least economic, where it wants to push um, beyond that into into the realms that we've been talking about all these years of the global fascist dictatorship Mm. now we've moved on greatly like i say because so many more people can see it at least levels of it um but uh to um 
to just watch it and, and commentate on it and, and, and watch our, oh, look, they put another bar up there. Oh, God, another bar in there. Come on, look, Ethel. <laughs> I mean, come on. We, 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 we've got to do more than that. Yeah. And, and another thing we, we need to do, which comes from the point you were making, Enric, is if we are going to understand what we're dealing with, um, and what is actually happening around us, we have got to suspend the limitations of what we perceive as possible. We, we need to um, appreciate that humanity in this period that we call known human history has been in an incredibly suppressed state mentally um, and in ways that are just beyond what most people would, would think was possible. Uh, but because we've been in that suppressed state, what we perceive to be the cutting edge of possibility is not, stands back in amazement, uh, the cutting edge of possibility. And if we are going to make judgments on what is happening on the basis of what we believe is possible, i.e. the cutting edge of human uh, possibility in the public arena is where the cutting edge is, mm. then we are going to get nowhere, nowhere near what is actually happening because uh, we have been in a suppressed state and then that which has been manipulating us um, is light years ahead in terms of its technological know-how. Mm. And therefore... When I say things, uh, for instance, I, I think this is going on, that's going on, you, you'll get people understandably saying that's ludicrous, that's not possible. No, it's not possible for humans at this point, but it is possible. We have lived in such a tiny bubble of uh, potential that we have no idea of the technological, uh, the the manipulation of our sense of reality, uh, what it is possible to do, create, all the rest of it. That is actually not only possible, Enric, it's going on mm. around us. Yeah. And, and it's like, um, it's like uh, you know, a, a kind of a, a, a sheep runs into a field and says, hey, hey, guys, I've sussed it. This is going on, that's going on, that's going on, that's going on. And they'd, they, from the point of view of the field, they'd say, that's impossible. You're crazy. And by the way, you're getting on our nerves because we don't want to hear this stuff. <laughs> That's right. Um, uh, uh, and, and, and yet, uh, a little way down the road, when, when the, the, the sheep's saying, look, they're going to bring this lorry. They're going to bring this truck. They're going to take us away to the slaw. Oh, don't be crazy. They'd never do that. Anyway, you know, it's not possible. And then the truck arrives. <laughs> And they, right. they, they're, they're in the back of the truck going, he was right, wasn't he? Oh, my God, it's too bloody late now. And, and so we have to open our minds to, um, as Socrates is supposed to have said in ancient Greece, wisdom is knowing how little we know. That's right, yeah. And, and, and let, let um, the information and our intuition be our guide and not the great firewalls of um, – preconceived idea because we are going to have some real um, shocks uh, in the next few years when we realize the scale of the control and how it doesn't end with Illuminati bloodlines and secret societies and Freemasons. They are still at the play out level of this. They're not the origin of this control system. They are players out of it, representatives of it. Hmm. Uh, and, and, you know, when you look, Henrik, at all these uh, things that are happening, and, and you know, what I do is connect the dots. But if you look at the individual dots alone, you've got uh, people uh, who are uh, focusing and, and, and uh, researching on the additives in food, additives in water, harp uh, manipulating the weather and manipulating earthquakes, etc. You've got people looking at the manipulation of the banking system. You've got people looking at engineered wars. Uh, you've got people looking at the um, pharmaceutical conspiracy, mm. the vaccine conspiracy, all these things, looking at the manipulation of politics, on and on and on it goes. And that it's all happening in this coordinated way. 
do we really believe that that's being orchestrated by men in dark suits and a few women sitting around a table discussing what do we do next? Uh, and this has been uh, – this, this, this conspiracy, this unfolding conspiracy um, projects decades and more forward. This is why some people who have had access to the uh, conspiracy uh, or, or at least they uh, had information access to it uh, as uh, on the inside have been able over the years, like Aldous Huxley and Brave New World, etc., hmm. to, to write these prophetic novels, which, which have shown now to – how did he know that? Because he, he, he had access to the projected agenda.